two in the freaking morning. That's not happening. Even on a good day, that's not. Oh, hello, folks. Welcome back. For I am the one, the only. I'm an exhausted hobo, Tom. Yes, I've actually put out a couple of videos to thank those 36 people that viewed my video about what happened here during Speed Week. Yes, it was a chaotic time. It's all over. Jeez, it just seems like yesterday. My legs still feel like it was yesterday. Yep, that's what happens when you get a leg, guess. Other than that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. It's time for some predictions. I know these predictions are coming out late. I actually got a lot done today. Went to work, got truck fixed, went to banks, figured out my taxes. It's always good. Because, yep, the government always gets the lion's share. So let's talk about Elimination Chamber. Good news. There's only four matches. Bad news. Here on the East Coast, it starts at 2 in the morning. That's not happening. So I have to be at work at 11. Tomorrow, I have a little bit of the sniffles. That's what happens when you stand outside in the cold, dank weather here in Florida. Take some cold medicine. It's going to make me all loopy. So, yeah. Not watching it. Not happening. But that does not mean I can't guess as to what's going to happen. This seems like a pretty obvious one. For whatever reason. Let's start off with the women's elimination chamber match. You know what? Very simply, going to cut to the chase. Becky Lynch. Big time Bex. Is going to win that match. Very simple. Um, for the men's elimination chamber. Oh, wait a second. You know what, folks? We're getting something. Hit. My. That's what happens when you're in a rush. So, yeah. So, this is the elimination chamber. And this is also what happens when you go live. Unedited. And unscripted very important so we have again women's elimination chamber Becky Lynch is gonna win that's almost a gimme all these matches are kind of gimmies I might go a rare hundred percent that would be impressive uh, then so the men's elimination chamber the one the only Drew McIntyre is going to win that. Here's what I predict. Because CM Punk's injured right now, it's either going to be CM Punk or Drew McIntyre versus Seth Rollins for whatever belt he holds the first night of WrestleMania. Therefore, Drew gets a real WrestleMania moment and or CM Punk gets his WrestleMania moment. I know it's night one, but spare the nothing. And therefore, you save Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns for night two. The Big Show. Whoa! It's the Big Show. And with that, let's see here. So we have those matches. The other two matches I know of, we have Judgment Day of Finn Balor. And I think it's going to be... Dominic Mysterio taking on Tyler Bates and Peter Dune. Judgment Day is going to win. This is going to be a good match, though. Oh, it's so hard to say. Rhea Ripley versus Nia Jax might be a match you can sleep on. This, if the men's elimination chamber doesn't main event this show, this would. They're not dropping the belt. Not in Australia. Not with Rhea Ripley holding it. Rhea Ripley wins. Defeats Nia Jax, but you could snooze through this. So, yeah. Um, bonus things. No real match of the night. It's hard to say with only four cards. I mean, Rhea Ripley versus Nia Jax is both my stone cold lock and the match you can sleep through. So, yeah. I was lucky I remembered to get my music in. 
other than that, I just thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned. Next week is bike week. I'm right now on the schedule to work the motocross race. And I signed up for the Daytona 200. Should be interesting. Again, you'll see more videos about that later. Thank you so much. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy.